Welcome back to part 8 of Hangar 207 in the Garage Baja Edition. I had a friend of mine, he uh, asked me, he, you know, I made a comment of quite a few times that VWs are relatively cheap. And they are. And uh, he wanted to know about what I had in this project so far. And I figured, you know, I never really figured, afraid to figure it out. I mean, do I want to know what I have in it? Well, you know, so I figured, well, I might as well just break it down and go over it. What Actually, what I got in it. The Baja bug itself, I got it for $400. But a buggy in this condition with the doors that don't sag and all that stuff, that's 1000 to, you know, $1,500 plus with the roll cage and everything else. It had its problems, the airbags in the back, so I had to buy this chassis. Now this chassis had the things I needed, the transmission, the axles, and the swing arm. And those are the things I needed. So, you know, I bought the chassis, that was $200. The, now if I did it individually, the axles itself would have been $20 a piece, swing arms are $40 a piece, and the transmission's $100. Bucks. So I paid $200, but actually, basically I saved me $20. Bucks. So... You know, it is what it is. New bearings, they were $80. Uh, I didn't have to change the bearings. I just decided I wanted to change the bearings. So I changed them. I'm just like, you know, screw it. I'm just, I'm just going to do it. You know, so I did it. The brakes, that was a cost. The brakes, they were 400 bucks. I wanted, I get, I put big tires on there. And I want to be able to stop it, so I want forward disc brakes. So, did I have to spend four hundred dollars for brakes? No, but I wanted to, and I did it. So whatever. So, you know, and then, uh, you know, I bought shocks. The shocks was eighty bucks. Uh, then for the front, uh, I had to get. There's a kit for the front, which would be another four hundred dollars. Or instead, there's a carbon gear that has front disc brakes. So I bought uh, some uh, old rotors and a spindle for Carmagia, and uh, I bought uh, new calipers. So that was about $100 for that right there, for the brakes for the front, $100. Um, so all in all, I got about $1,480 bucks into it so far. But actually, that wouldn't have covered the buggy itself, just for the buggy. So I, you know, I'm not complaining. Um, not, can, you, can you get a deal? Yeah, you can get a deal like that. You just gotta look for it. You gotta look around. You gotta scrimmage. I got lucky when I found this one. Normally, you don't get one with a roll cage already in it and all that stuff. But normally, you don't get them with broken swing arms. You had to play swing arms and all that stuff. Am I saving any money? No, I'm not doing this project to save money. This project I'm doing because it's fun. Now, when I get done, yeah, I'll probably have. $2,500 into it total. That's not counting. I, I, I might even include painting. I don't know yet. I have to decide what I'm going to do for the body yet. I'm still working on getting it drivable. I already have an engine, so uh, I can't really factor that in there as a cost. But I'll have $2,500, maybe $3,000, but I think it'll be worth about $5,000. I'll be able to sell for $5,000 pretty much anywhere. So, relatively cheap. You know, the parts for it. Oh yeah, and at fourteen hundred eighty, I bought uh, brand new uh, brake lights because I want brand new brake lights. Because uh, the guy that had this before me had a good idea, he, good good ideas, but he had a really bad method. He used the wrong type of brake lights, so all the brake lights are poor. They're new, but they're bad. I can't use them; they're the wrong type. And we we'll put new master cylinder and stuff like that. So I have some more money sunk into it. Normally, a project you don't do this fast, but you know. I'm having fun with it. And then I got two other buggies we're going to do. And possibly another airplane. But we'll see as the future holds. The deal I had on the airplane that I was going to buy kind of fell through. So I'm uh, still working on the idea of what's going to happen with the airplane. But in the meantime, I'm going to be doing this. And uh, there's an opportunity I might be able to do another golf cart. So we shall see. But anyways... We're going to go back to the video. I'm actually working on stuff. Uh, we got what we got to do yet, still to do, is the front brakes to be done. At put the shocks on uh, and uh, uh, brake lines, emergency brake 
cables, those all have to be installed. But I think what I'm going to do is attack the front brakes because, like I said, it's used uh, parts off of Carbonia, which has their fuel issues that I got prepped, get ready, clean up, paint, so on and so forth. So let's get to it. When you are uh, working on a project like this, you're going to run into some problems. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put disc brakes on the front of this. Now, I could have gone out and bought a disc brake, disc brake conversion. That's about 400 bucks. Comes with a spindle, a rotor, and a caliper. Now, what I did was a Carbon Gia, that's about $400 back kit. That's what I paid for the back kit, but the back kit, that's about the only way to get disc brakes back there. Carbon Gia is a VW, pretty much the same chassis underneath and everything, but it's got disc brakes in front. So I went to the salvage yard and I bought a whole setup the rotor, caliper, and the spindle. I knew I wasn't going to use the caliper, so I bought brand new calipers and brake pads. Yeah, that just makes sense. Now, when I went to take it apart, what happened was the guy prior probably wanted to change the pads. He broke a bolt off right there. Instead of drilling it out and tapping it, he tried welding it. I tell you. Now, the salvage yard I bought this from, he said, bring the spindles back. I got others. I'll give them to you. And I'm like, okay. But then I started thinking, what if this was a vehicle that was rare and you couldn't just go out and get one of these? What do you do? Well, I told him that if I can't repair these, I'll come back. But I like to try to repair these. Make a good video. So we're going to grind this off. We're going to drill out and tap the hole. See if we can repair this, even though it'd be easier, but this makes a good video. Now, the other one was they did the same thing the other side, broke a bolt off, welded it. I went ahead and did some investigation and research and see if I could fix it. Yeah, I can, because this one was to be a little bit more difficult because he already tried drilling a hole, but it's not right in the center, it's off to the side. Try to use it easy out. That's why he tried doing it. He couldn't get it out. But I'm going to try to. It's hard to drill a half a hole. The hole's already there and off. <coughs> it's a little harder to do. But I'm going to give it a shot and try to fix this one. You can try to fix them both. Because, you know, I'm $400 for aftermarket kit, which you still got to finagle to make work, or $100 for this kit with brand new calipers. Just got to do a little bit more work. I think I'm going to go this way. Save me 300 bucks, do a little more work, make a good video out of it, be fun. Well, anyways, this is how you fix this. Weld off. So I got the cut off wheel. Then I got to cut that glob of weld off. came out in the video it's kind of hard to this area over here the camera's gonna have a hard time focusing so I'm hoping that came out good now I gotta 
clean that up somehow. I gotta figure out how to hold it in the vise to where I can get grinder to it so I can clean that up. What a pain in the derriere that is. Now I got both of them. I got the one drilled and tapped. And I read, read the tap through the other one to chase it. Now let's see how successful we were. One down. Well, there it is. All painted up. That was that's before. And this is after. They uh, let's move them around to where they sit in the same way. Before and after. Now the other one, I still got to drill and tap, clean it up, and paint it. I already. Got the buggy in, got it spun around. What I gotta do is I gotta take this off up here, the axle, or the this part. The ball joints would be real pain to get out of there. Shock's pretty good. I don't think I've changed shock, but I'm gonna change the tie rods and everything. It's all gonna be new. The, the shock back here, I got this in the video installing it, so you'll see that coming up in another video but I got the shock back here installed we got to put transmission in and the brake lines and the I got quite a bit to do back here <laughs> still but that's later I'm still waiting on parts but like I said so up next video will be uh, I don't think I'm going to video doing that one unless I run into a problem fixing that one but, you know, with this in here, uh, get taken it apart and get it installed. So, that's it for this one, for eight. Nine will be coming pretty soon. Uh, which will be installing the uh, front spindles and brakes and the calipers. But I'm going to, after I get it apart, I'm going to try to clean this up best I can, get some paint in there and uh, stuff of that nature. So, I hope you enjoyed these videos because they are getting more and more difficult to video, to record. My wife doesn't want to come back here and hold the camera because it's cold. I don't blame her. One bit, not one bit. But uh, if it gets a real warm day, I mean, if I keep the heater around, it's fine, but you can't hear me. So, <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. But... It's, uh, it's, it's, it's fun, but, you know, I'm just going to keep at it. Uh, the focus, I had a hard time with the camera on focus. I don't know why. Um, uh, I just having all kinds of issues with the camera on getting things to focus. I, I don't know what I'm doing. And I never had a problem with the camera before, so maybe I need to do something different. And, uh, I'll decide that a little bit later. So with that, I'm going to say 
Thanks for visiting Hangar 207 in the Garage Baja Edition.